Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Raspberry Pi series of videos. This is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Dehradun. Today we will be showing you how to create a home automation project using Raspberry Pi and the new Blink IODL. With this project you will be able to control your homes lightning and appliances right from your smartphone. In this step by step tutorial we will be using a Raspberry Pi model 3B plus a Raspberry Pi power supply, two 12 volt two channel relay module, AC bulbs with holders, AC wires, a 12 volt DC power supply, and some jumper wires. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Let's get started. Now let's move on to configuring the Blink project template. Firstly, go to the Blink.cloud website and login to your Blink account. If you are new to Blink, you can easily create an account by clicking on the create new account link. Once you are logged in, you will see your dashboard. Click on the templates tab. We have got the new template button. Click on the new template button to create our new project. We have got our new template property. Write the name as home automation with Raspberry Pi. Select the hardware as Raspberry Pi. Select the connection type as Wi-Fi. In the project description, write Raspberry Pi controlled home automation and click done. So our project template is now complete. To add data stream to our project template, click on the data stream tab on the blank website. Once you are there, you will see a new data stream button. Go ahead and click it. Here you will see five options and we will choose the virtual pin. Next in the virtual pin property, let's write the name of our first device as device one. Set the pin as V0, the data type as integer and click on the create button. Awesome! We have successfully created our first virtual pin. Since we will be controlling our four relays in this project, so we will need to create three more virtual pins. To do this, click on the new data stream button again, then virtual pin. Write the name as device2, the virtual pin is v1 and the data type is integer. Click on create to create your second virtual pin. Repeat the same steps for your third virtual pin. Naming it as device3, setting the virtual pin as v2 and the data type as integer and click on create. So finally, create your fourth and last virtual pin by clicking on the new data stream button and then virtual pin. Write the name as device 4, the virtual pin as v3 and the data type as integer and click on create. And great, we have successfully created all 4 virtual pins for our 4 relays. With these data streams, we can now easily control our homes, lightning and appliances from our smartphone. Now time to configure the web dashboard. So click on the web dashboard tab. In this step, we will add four switch widgets to the dashboard by simply dragging and dropping them. Once you have placed all the switches in the dashboard, hover your mouse over the first switch and you will see the gear icon. Click on the gear icon to access the switch setting. Here you can select the data stream as device 1 V0 and click on save button to save this setting for the first switch. Repeat this process for the remaining switches. Open the setting of second switch. Choose the data stream as device 2 V1 and click on save. Open the setting of third switch. Choose the data stream as device 3 V2 and click on save. Open the setting of fourth switch. Choose the data stream as device 4 V3 and click on save. Once all switches have been configured, click on save button to save all the settings of our project template. 
let's now move on to creating the blank credentials for our project this is the step that will be enable us to connect our raspberry pi to the blank iot app to get started click on the search tab on the blank cloud website you will see a button labeled new device click on it here you will be seen three options from template scan qr code and manual entry we will choose from template option from the drop down list select home automation with raspberry pi and click on create we have successfully created the blank credentials for our project you can also find the credentials by clicking on the device info tab with the blank credentials you are now ready to move on the next step of the project now setting up your raspberry pi home automation project with the new blink iot mobile app we will now configure the blink iot app and widget to the mobile dashboard firstly go to your app store or play store and search for the blink app install it on your mobile and log in to your account once you log in you will find your project template click on your project template and inside click on the setting icon inside the setting click on the plus icon to open the widget window this window provides a range of widgets that you can add to your mobile dashboard click on the button widget to add it to the mobile dashboard add more three button to the dashboard and arrange them as per your requirements now click on the first button and select device 1 v0 from the data stream option repeat the process for the second button select the data stream as device 2 v1 and back to the dashboard guys i forget to make the button as switch in both first and second button simply click on the first button change the mode to switch and return to the dashboard now click on the second button change the mode to the switch and back to the dashboard now click on the third switch select the data stream as device 3 v2 change the mode to switch and back to the dashboard at last click on the fourth switch select the data stream as device 4 v3 change the mode to switch and back to the dashboard so this is the final mobile dashboard that will be used to control the ac bulbs now it's time to move on to programming the raspberry pi i have successfully powered up my raspberry pi and i will access the remote desktop of my raspberry pi using vnc viewer if you don't know how to access the raspberry pi using vnc viewer you can watch the video on my youtube channel where i explain the process in detail link is available in the video description this is my vnc viewer and now i am going to access my raspberry pi desktop and this is my raspberry pi desktop after it the first step is to install the latest blink library on it the link is available in the video description to guide you how you can install right now time for the programming code click on the link available in the video description this link will redirect you to the programming code this is the programming code so what you need to do copy this code and go to the raspberry pi desktop open the text editor and paste the code now you need to save this code inside the blank library folder click on the file tab and then save this is the blank library folder named blink library python go inside it 
now write the name as home automation blink 2.py and click on save so our program has been saved you can find this program inside the blink library folder Now open this program by double click on it. At the beginning of the program, we import the Blink library and define the GPIO pins. We also import the Blink timer to manage time based event. Next we define pins 14, 15, 23 and 24 as device 1, device 2, device 3 and device 4 to control the relays respectively. These pins are defined as output and set to low state initially ensuring that all bulbs are turned off when the Raspberry Pi is powered on. To connect the program to our Blink mobile dashboard, we need to define the Blink token. And this is the Blink token. You need to replace this token with your Blink project token. So go to the Blink web dashboard, click on the search tab and you will find your project click on it and inside click on the device info tab you will get your project credentials and this is your blank authentication token simply copy this token and replace the default token in the programming code with it it's essential to have the correct token defined in the program as it is used to authenticate your Raspberry Pi with the Blink server and allow it to communicate with your Blink mobile app. And below, we have defined the function to control each relay through their respective virtual pins. This is the code to control the first relay using V0 virtual pin. When a button on the Blink mobile app or web dashboard is pressed, the value of that button is stored in the value variable. If the value is 1, then the device 1 is turned on by setting its pin to high and printing a message indicating that the device 1 is on. In the other hand, if the value is 0, the device 1 is turned off by setting its pin to low and printing a message indicating that the device 1 is off. Similarly, I have defined the function for v1, v2 and v3 virtual pin to control the respective device 2, device 3 and device 4. If you want to control more devices then you need to define the virtual pins in the similar manner. After establishing the connection between the Raspberry Pi and the Blink server, the message alert hi Raspberry Pi connected to the new Blink 2.0 is printing in the terminal to indicating a successful connection. Finally, the blank.run function is called in the while loop to ensure continuous communication between the Raspberry Pi and the blank server. Right? This program enables the users to control multiple devices through a mobile app or web dashboard with the help of the blank platform. To run the program, open the LX terminal. and go inside the blink library folder using the cd blink library python command then execute the program by running the command sudo python home automation blink 2.py and hit enter you will see that the board is trying to connect to the blink server and our board is connected to the blink server and we can see the message alert Hi, Raspberry Pi connected to the new Blink 2.0 in the terminal. Now you can press the button on the Blink mobile app to control the relay. The program works perfectly fine and the relay responds according to the button pressed. Now it's time to connect the hardware for controlling the four relays and AC bulb with the Raspberry Pi. Please be careful while working with AC bulbs. This is the circuit diagram to show how to connect 
four relays and bulbs with the Raspberry Pi. We have a Raspberry Pi 3B plus board, a power supply, two two channel relays for controlling the bulbs and the bulbs themselves. I have connected all the components according to the circuit diagram. We have successfully completed the project. Now it's time to test it out. Open the blank app and go to your project template. Press the button and test the project. You can see that the project is working perfectly. Controlling your home automation project is not limited to the Blink mobile app only. You can also manage it via the Blink website's web dashboard. Simply go to the Blink dashboard and search for your project template in the search tab. Click on it and access your dashboard. From there, you can easily control all the relays. And congratulations, you have successfully built a home automation or appliances control project using the new Blink IoT app with Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching and following along with the tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for more innovative projects. Stay tuned for more exciting projects with us.